Hello, all my beautiful people. Happy Monday. Happy Eclipse, as you can see. Um, it's about five minutes away to its darkest period. And I'm going to see if I could just... Well, I mean, you could tell. It looks like it's cloudy. There are no clouds over my head. There is nothing blocking the sun. It's actually getting this dark. The one thing I did notice was how, not how fast the temperature dropped, but kind of, sort of. Um, I've been sitting out here off and on for about 20 minutes. And like in the last 10 minutes, a breeze came up and it was yeah it feels noticeably cooler now now whether or not the thermos the thermometer will actually um, show that I'm not sure but it is way cooler but everything else is fine and I'm looking around because um, I'm noticing the birds are chirping and I guess getting into their nest because they think it's about to be nighttime <laughs> Um, my dogs are acting normal, like they always do. Crazy, but normal. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here with you guys and see how dark it gets. It's, it's, it's darker. How dark is really, really, really gonna get? Well, we're in the, they said we're supposed to be anywhere between 80 to... I think 95% because we're so close to uh, I think it's West Arkansas right across the river about a 20 minute drive that would be in totality so a couple of people actually even said 97% so I just want to see how dark it's going to get it's going to hit its peak at 158 and then it'll get warmer after that and then it'll be completely over as of 318 or something like that according to Memphis so keep that in mind um i see cbs is doing the live coverage from indianapolis um i thought our local news crew would have done something but i don't know maybe it's on a different channel or something so how are you guys doing? i should have done this as a live it probably would have been more interactive and what have you but i've never done a live before so it is what it is but it is steadily going, growing darker. I don't want to look up. I do want to look up, but I don't because I don't have the glasses and I don't need you to see me go blind in, on video. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, except for it getting darker. Now that's weird. That's, I keep seeing light come in and out. It's kind of weird. Why do I look all glowy? Oh, because the sun is coming through the pecan tree, which doesn't have its full leaves yet. But, um, yeah, except for it getting darker, this is a, a regular day in the neighborhood, except for, well, yeah, even the sounds of the birds are the same. There's nothing special going on here, people, other than the eclipse, which I can't look at. And I said I was going to ask God for a cloudy day. It started off cloudy. Then it got all nice and pretty and sunny. And then the clouds kept going in and out over the sun. Under the sun. You know what I mean. So. I can maybe give you guys a glance. It won't blind you, right? Let's see. I don't know if you could see but anyway my baby girl is barking at the dog next door through the fence she does this a lot hey dozer Oh, 
Oh, now it's really getting dark. Not supposed to look, but it's getting super dark. It's getting cooler. The temperature is steadily dropping a little at a time, but I definitely feel a difference. And I can't exactly see it through the trees because the branches are covering part of it. But I mean, I could go stand out and farther into the yard by our garden it has direct light but yeah I don't want to be blinded but it's getting really dark you know what I the last time I lived through a solar eclipse and I think it was a total one I'm not sure you guys tell me if any of you remember back in 1986, it went over, some kind of way it went over the southern part of the United States because we lived in Mobile, Alabama. I was in eighth grade and I remember I was in, of all periods, I was in science class when the eclipse hit. Oh, the street light just came on. And, um, yeah, I was in eighth grade in science class during that period when the eclipse hit. And we went outside and did the the paper thing where you punch hole, punch a hole through one paper and let the sun shine through the other. And that's how we watched it because none of us had the glasses to actually see it. And I guess the teacher didn't have any. But yeah, guys, this is it pretty much. And you can see the shade of the tree over my face. But I hope that you guys are doing well. Lord, we thank you for this. Thank you for your many blessings and your mercy and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for keeping your hand over us, watching over us, giving your angels charge over us. Thank you for your beautiful spirit, and we thank you for your word. This is amazing. I hate to show you my disgusting yard, but the shadows that are falling because of the sun being up, but it's not completely bright. It, it looks weird like fabric or something. Um, I don't know, is it showing on the house? I don't think so. Okay, so let me see if I could show this real quick. Pay no attention to the mess. It's my husband's fault. I'm pointing it at in the right direction. But isn't that kind of weird and cool? Hopefully you saw it. That's pretty amazing. And I'm taking it. We're pretty much there. Ooh, all of a sudden most of the birds stopped. Not all of them, most of them. If it had went dead quiet, then I'd be like, uh-oh, what's about to happen? But no. Most of the birds were chirping and they kind of just, I don't know if they went to sleep or what. I still hear birds though in our neighbor's tree. Let's see
Yeah, there was a bunch of birds. And now there's only a few. So I'm wondering, like, is the darkness tricking their minds and they're going to sleep or something? It's kind of weird. Oh, here comes Dozer. Hey, Dodo. Want to say hi? Hi, sweetheart. Okay. You can get out of my face. Oh, you slimed me. Get off. Get off, you heavy puppy. I know I love you too, sweetheart. He wants to snuggle now. After he slimed me. Gotta love Mastiffs, Mastiffs right? <sighs> Is that a... Oh! Hello, darling. Thank you. Ow, what? Okay, say hi. Thank you. Lady, you want to say hi? Say hi, lady. Please. No, you don't want to say hi. Dozer wants to say hi, though. He's a big old ham. Are you enjoying the eclipse? Okay, thank you. Okay, you want to tell everybody goodbye? Say bye-bye. Yeah, guys, that's... I'm, I'm not going to hang because y'all know I don't like long videos. I'm not gonna hang much longer. And yeah. And Big Mouth wants my undivided attention. Oh, you're heavy. Don't step on my leg. Get off my leg. Thank you. Whew. Here, just sit next to me. There you go, big boy. All right, guys. <laughs> I guess this is pretty much it. This is the zenith of it all. But, um, hope you enjoyed it if you got a chance to see it. If you didn't, didn't miss much. Take care. God bless. I love you. God loves you more. And Dozer has this giant stick, and I don't want it in my house because then he'll crunch it into pieces, and then I got to clean it up. Anyway. Yeah, that was pretty much it because the street light just went out. So take care, everybody. God bless.